Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin, also known as Curls by the Dozen, and today I will be doing a wash and go. Okay, so let's get right into the video. Today I will be using the Ultimate Styling Collection once again, the Bean Control Curl Sculpting Gel, and it has aloe leaf juice, and this is the one for wash and goes, and it has a firm hold. The first step in my wash and go process is to apply a leave-in conditioner. I will be using the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-in Conditioner. First things first, I am going to apply this leave-in conditioner all over my hair and then we'll get into styling with the gel. Now that I've applied the leave-in conditioner, I can go in and start styling my hair in small sections with the gel. And I'm going to start with, hmm, let's see, I'm going to start with this side and make my way over to this side. Now I'm going to take my water and add a little more water to this section. I like my hair to be pretty saturated with water just because I feel like it comes out better and it makes the gel glide through the hair a lot better as well. I always notice good results when my hair is as wet as possible. So now we have our gel right here. Super excited to try this. Let's take about this much. We'll see how that does on this section. And this is what we have so far. I can't really pinpoint the smell of this one. It doesn't smell bad, but I'm not exactly sure what it smells like either. <laughs> I'm breaking my fingers through my hair in order to make sure the product is in there and to start to help define these curls. Okay, that looks pretty good. I, I want a little bit more gel. I use a lot of product, as I said in the previous video. If you haven't seen that video, please, please, please go check it out. The hair turned out really well. Okay, now let's look at this. Ooh, beautiful. So another key to my wash and goes is my diamond brush. My only problem if I ever have one with wash and goes is making sure that my roots get enough product and so it's okay to add extra 
if you need it because that's my only problem area if I ever have one. And so let me do it like this. The diamond brush really helps to define your curls and make them pop. It also gives you a lot of shrinkage for that same reason. I personally love shrinkage, so it doesn't it doesn't bother me, but if you're someone that wants your hair elongated, you could still use the Denman brush, but I would suggest just using it maybe on the ends to get your curls to pop a little more versus the length of your hair. As before, I'm going to add a little bit more water to the hair, run my fingers through it, really get that leave-in conditioner activated and working. And then we're going to take some gel, take about this much, rub it in our hands and we're going to work that through I usually start at the bottom and I work my way up because I don't want to rip my hair out. That is not the purpose. And then just let it go, let it bounce. Let's see. I want this a little bit more defined. And if I notice that at the root, as I said before, it's a little frizzy or not as laid, I'll just add some to a larger section of the hair. Okay. Now I'm going to finish up the rest of my hair and I'll come back when it's time for me to style the front and apply my edge control. Thank you. 
Now that I've applied the gel all over my hair, now it's time to do my edges. I have here the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. Definitely a tongue twister. side part I need to lay my edges a lot more 
because you can see if they're really big or not. I personally like to do my edges with a comb at times if I can, if I'm trying to be fancy. Otherwise, I'll just use my brush. I'll be back when my hair dries. This gel is formulated with vitamin packed aloe leaf juice to protect and grow hair. It can also be used to sleek down edges because it has a firm hold as well as wash and go styles and any other style that needs maximum hold. I definitely think my hair will last. Um, I feel a cast, but my hair doesn't feel crunchy per se, just in place. So we'll see throughout the week how it lasts and I'll let you all know.